Good morning, everyone. So again, we are here for your accounts lecture, and we are doing chapter number three, that is accounting equation, a foundation of all your practical chapters. So yesterday, as we all have discussed, what is accounting equation? What are its features? How does a simple accounting format takes place? Why does an accounting equation needs to be discussed before doing any practical chapter? So yesterday we have set a background that why an accounting equation is formed, what is accounting equation, and how it is done. So today's lecture so today again we are going to continue with the same chapter and the same topic that is accounting equation so as we all know fundamental accounting equation or balance sheet equation gives you the relationship between assets liabilities and equity let us first discuss about the learning objectives of accounting equation to understand the meaning of accounting equation, know the components of the accounting equation, know the meaning of assets, liabilities and capital, identify the effect of a business transaction on assets, liabilities and capital, appreciate the effect of change in any one variable of the equation on the other variable and Moreover, to understand the importance of maintaining the balance in accounting equation. Also, to find the missing variables with the help of the equation. And last, to understand the usefulness of accounting equation. So, these were the learning objectives of accounting equation. And now, let us revise, revise maths or the mathematical expressions. An equation is a mathematical expression. It has two sides, left hand side and right hand side. Left hand side and right hand side are placed on opposite and but both these sides are always equal. Okay, let me take an example. Suppose if left hand side is equal to right hand side, that is six eights are 48. And if you want to get the same number, then we are writing 12 4, 12 4 is a 48. So this is balanced equation, a balanced mathematical expression. This is an equation. There cannot be a unilateral or single change in the equation. That is, if a figure 5 is added on left hand side only, the equation will be disturbed and it will not remain an equation. Left hand side is equal to right hand side, say 6 into 8, 48, 12 into 4, 48, as we done earlier. Now adding 5 on left hand side only. So on 5, after adding 5, we'll get 53 on left hand side and 48 remains on right hand side. So there is imbalancing. Similarly, when we do accounting equation in accounts, now, let us take a few transactions to understand the accounting equation. So, when we added 5 on left hand side, it becomes 53. So, it was not balanced. In order to maintain the balance in the equation, we can make two changes of the same value at the same time. Suppose, if I add 2 on left hand side and the same 2 is added on right hand side, then there remains a balance. It is the basic feature of an equation that there have to be two changes of the same size, either on both sides in the same direction or only on the same side once addition and then once deduction. So, okay, let us start with transactions and posting those transactions in an equation. So, first of all, transaction 1. Mr. Reyes commences his business with 50,000. This is an example of investment of assets in the business by the owner. 
the effect of this transaction on accounting equation is that now he is bringing cash so cash is increasing in the business and proprietor capital is also increasing riaz is the owner of the business he is investing money to start a business now in for the business cash is an asset and on the other side business is liable to pay back 50000 to riaz so it becomes their capital so how do we show it in our accounting equation first of all we write assets on one side liabilities on other side owners equity and capital so 50000 he brought as cash so assets increases and on the other side capital increases so both sides are balancing assets is equals to liabilities plus capital now the next transaction purchase furniture on cash 10000 This transaction affected accounting equation as the increase in one new asset furniture also decreases in assets cash with the same amount. So what I am saying here, purchase furniture on cash. Furniture purchase with cash. Furniture is coming in the business. It is increasing and cash is decreasing. So when we show this in our accounting equation. continuing with the previous transactions also because these transactions are related to each other 50000 belongs to cash invested by riaz now 10000 here is for purchase furniture purchased now he is purchasing furniture so we will deduct 10000 so left is 40000 only another side furniture increases by 10000 40 plus 10 50 and already 50000 is lying here as riaz capital now we can note here that transaction has affected asset side only minus 10000 plus 10000 minus plus cancel so it's zero again both sides are on the same amount that is 50000 and it is balancing also now transaction third purchased merchandise for cash 10000 so merchandise is goods traded in uh, the particular type of goods for which we do our business like business of plastic goods business of tin goods business of glass so what is it merchandise purchase merchandise for cash 10000 this transaction will introduce a new element earlier we have cash and furniture so now we are going to have new element that is merchandise on the asset side and decrease the cash by 10000 because he has paid for merchandise rupees 10000 as cash now how we are going to show it in our accounting equation so look at here see on the asset side now we have three items cash furniture and merchandise plus 40000 plus 10000 and here we already have 50000 of capital 10000 we will add off merchandise now tell me one thing like you have 50 40000 cash here earlier you were having 50000 now you are having 40000 it means what happened then you must have spent it somewhere right so because you have paid cash so it will be reduced so minus 10000 so now it becomes cash side 30000 furniture 10000 merchandise 10000 and capital becomes 50000 again 30000 plus 10000 40000 40000 plus 10000 50000 50000 is on both sides this transaction affected asset side only again it is affecting asset side only merchandise is increasing cash is decreasing there is no effect on liability side and there is no change in equity side of the equation as well now we are on transaction number 4 again purchase merchandise that was on cash and now it is on credit basis that is 
So how we are going to show in our accounting equation? Again, three same items: cash, furniture, and merchandise. Right? Cash was thirty thousand in the previous because out of the total we have deducted ten thousand for which we have purchased merchandise. Ten thousand is of furniture already existing asset. Merchandise ten thousand we have previous. Five thousand more we are adding because we are purchasing it on credit. So now, if you are purchasing it on credit, that is udhar. If you are purchasing it on credit basis, it means you have to pay it back. So your liability or your creditors increases. So now, how is it is going to balance thirty thousand of cash plus ten thousand of furniture? That is forty thousand. For merchandise, we have fifteen thousand, and the total is fifty five thousand. And on the other side, again fifty thousand plus five thousand, fifty five thousand. So what is here? That now you are balancing the both sides with transaction number four. Such a kind of transaction affected asset side and liability side both, and the sides of the equation has increased with the same amount. See now five thousand is added both. So now total of asset side fifty five and also of liability side fifty five thousand. Now comes transaction number five. Sold merchandise for cash two thousand. Cost of those merchandise were fifteen hundred. Like I have purchased it for fifteen hundred and now I want to sell it at two thousand. What does it mean? That I want to make a profit. So, how will you record it in an accounting equation? How it will be recorded? First of all, on asset side, now merchandise is sold for cash. It means cash is increasing. So, we will add two thousand in cash column. Merchandise is sold. It means merchandise is decreasing. So, we'll do what? We'll deduct fifteen hundred from merchandise, not two thousand fifteen hundred, because we will record. Actual value of the goods and the difference of two, like purchased for fifteen hundred, sold for two thousand. So there is a profit again. So what is the profit here? So profit is five hundred. So for five hundred, there it's a profit. So it will be added to capital. Every time, whenever there is a profit on behalf of the organization, that amount goes to the organization itself so now here cash becomes 32000 furniture becomes 10000 merchandise becomes 13500 and creditors become 5000 again so here capital is 50500 now because profit is added back now this transaction affected both asset side as well as liability side And also the proprietorship. Difference between sales price and cost price is treated as profit. So, what is profit here? Like in this question, two thousand minus fifteen hundred. That is five hundred. So this is profit of the company for transaction number five. So we can say here that cost price is treated as profit and has been added to capital. So we show it. Somewhere that uh, it is approved, and in this case, what happens? We are adding back to capital. Okay, now we are going to continue with transaction number six. So we have purchased. Now we are selling. So selling merchandise on credit for four thousand, costing rupees three thousand. So I have purchased merchandise for three thousand, but now I want to sell it, and I sold it at four thousand. So what is the gap between four thousand and three thousand? It is one thousand. Okay, what will you consider it as? That is profit. So it is a profit that is deducting of the sale price minus cost price. So how will we show it in assets and liabilities equation? So first of all, we will start with cash. Cash was thirty-two thousand. 
Now why it is 32,000 here? Because in cash we have 32,000 and 2,000 was added when I got the amount of 2,000 as sale of merchandise. Then furniture becomes 10,000. Merchandise becomes 13,500. Earlier it was 10,000. Now 3,500 is more added to it. So from where comes 13,500 now? So here we have sold merchandise for 1,500. And this is the reason I will deduct 1,500 from 15,000. And so I get 13,500. Now it was sold for cash 2000 then 2000 will be added in the cash amount that is 2000 here then it becomes 32000. Furniture already 10,000 and there is no change in furniture throughout the business tenure. Merchandise now remains at 13,500 after selling off for 1500. Then after this on the other side that is liabilities, creditors are same of 5000 and capital is same 5000 but the difference of 500 that is profit 2000 minus 1500 profit of 500 will be added back to capital. This transaction has affected asset side and also the proprietorship. Difference between sales price and cost price is treated as profit and has been added to capital. Now comes the last transaction of Riyaz. So here Riyaz has sold merchandise on credit for 4000 costing rupees 3000. Okay last time it was for 1500 and sold for 2000. So 500 was the profit. So here profit will be cost price minus selling price minus cost price. Selling price is 4000 and cost price is 3000. So 1000 is the amount of profit. So how we will record in accounting equation now on cash it is 32,000 no effect on cash because now there will be no addition in the cash as it is sold on credit basis. Furniture will remain same 10,000. Now there is an effect on merchandise first. First of all it will reduce by 3,000 that is the cost price then as it is sold on credit basis then debtors will arise and it they will amount to 4000 rupees so on asset side now we have cash 32000 furniture 10000 merchandise 10500 and debtors 4000 then comes the other side creditors 5000 as bring brought as we have brought down from the previous transaction and the capital of riyas 50500 plus 1000 of profit which is from 4000 minus 3000 so here total becomes 56500 and same on the asset side again the both sides left hand side and right hand side are balancing and there is synchronization in between the two sides this transaction has affected asset side and also the proprietorship a new element debtors has been introduced here Difference between sales price and cost price is treated as profit and it has been added to capital. Now this transaction is over. So Riyaz has done just 5 or 6 transactions. So we have concluded that at the end he has assets and liabilities equals to 56,500. Now we can also do an accounting equation for a practice basis right we will discuss it in the next video so today I will make you sure that you understand about this transaction so here we have to prepare the accounting equation on the basis of following mr. Samrat started business and introduced capital rupees 1 lakh in cash purchase goods in cash 50,000 purchase from B furniture 20,000 and paid B furniture cash sold goods costing 25,000 for rupees 35,000. So this is again what we have to cover in accounting equation. Go through the video properly only then you are able to 
give the effect of these transactions of your own and moreover you have to answer the questions which we had discussed yesterday do refer the given link for the clarity of the concept and for solving the equations also answer the following questions complete the questions give fundamental accounting equation give two basic purpose of accounting equation what value is involved in preparing accounting equation what is accounting equation give the transaction that will increase an asset and decrease another asset what is the effect of transaction on accounting equation explain the term assets is equals to equities or liabilities so in tomorrow's lecture as i have given you one question to solve solve the question i and i will tell you the answer with you people i will also solve so i will tell you the answer with you when it is done so we will discuss it in next video thank you